Now to a breaking news update. An end to a tragic case. Four young children stabbed to death by their mother. Tonight, that mother, Shanithia Gardner, faces years in prison. Sentencing day for 34-year-old Shanithia Gardner for the stabbing death of her six-month, two-year, three-year, and four-year-old children back in 2016. Gardner was quiet as Judge James Lammy read the sentence for multiple counts of first-degree murder, aggravated child abuse, and aggravated child neglect. Count one, I find you guilty of first-degree murder, sent you to life uh, with possibility of parole. In all, there were some 20 counts. Gardner sentenced to life with the chance for parole on each of the murder convictions and 15 years for each of the other charges. The sentences for all of them will run concurrent with one another, so her effective sentence is 51 years, is life, with the possibility of parole, which is 51 years. Gardner has already served five years after the 2016 killing. Her attorneys claim she was not in her right mind when she killed the children in their southeast Shelby County apartment home, and she thought the children were in danger. They mounted an insanity defense, but a judge ruled Though Gardner has mental deficiencies, she was in her right mind at the time she murdered her children. An older fifth child escaped and went screaming for help. The children's father was in court for the sentencing, but declined to say anything. With time already served, Gardner would be around 80 years old before she would be eligible for parole. It's a just sentence. I mean, we have four uh, victims that were brutally stabbed. Um, and murdered. Um, so I think it represents justice for all four of those little babies. Uh, also for Martin Gardner, who's here today, the father of those children. Um, so we feel like it was a just sentence. Gardner can file a motion for appeal in 45 days. If she does, it's likely her mental health will be brought up again.